In this video, I am going to show you the quickest and easiest way to connect your Telegram app to your make.com application. For those of you that don't know, Telegram is a fantastic communications app. I use it to dictate audio recordings, which then trigger automations in make.com, and make.com is my hub for creating all of my automations. So let's show you how to do this immediately. This will just take a few moments and you'll be up and running with Telegram. Let's go over to make.com and here we'll create a new scenario for this demo. I like to always give my scenarios a name, so we'll just quickly call this one Telegram to make demo. Okay, perfect. So what we will do is we will click on the plus sign and we will go to our Telegram bot. If you don't have that available to you, just simply search for it in the search bar here. And then when you click on Telegram bot, you'll see all the different options. You wanna scroll down until you see the option that says watch updates. You'll see it says instant next to it. And this means that it can grab the data that is coming in instantly and then trigger that next step in your automation. Let's click that watch updates. Now we have to create a webhook. This simply means that we are connecting in this case, Telegram to make. Let's go create a webhook and you can give this a name. I'm just gonna call this one the Telegram to make demo. And I'm going to create a new one because I already have one. Let's go add. Now we need a token. This is where it gets interesting. There are different ways of doing this. You can use the Telegram desktop app, but what I prefer to do is do everything on my phone since I am going to be using this from my phone. So let me show you how to do that. Let's jump over here. You can see I've opened up my Telegram app and what you need to do is search for bot father, bot father. This is how you're going to create your own channel that you can then communicate with make. You find that and you click on bot father. So when you come into bot father, you're gonna see probably nothing. I just have these list of functions here because I have typed in slash start. You don't even need to do that. What you're gonna do is simply type this command slash new bot. This is going to create a channel for you to use so that you can then communicate with make. So we need to come up with a name for your bot. This can be anything you want. In my case, I'm just gonna call it make demo. Uh, I might do one, two, three, cause there's probably a bunch of similar bots. And I'm gonna hit enter. And now it says you must choose a username ending in bot. So I'll use the same thing, make demo one, two, three, and it has to end in bot. So let's do that. All right. Now what you will notice, and this is the key here, there is a HTTP API user token in the middle of the screen here, starting with 755. Do not share this with anybody. I will be deleting this once this video is out. But this is your secure token that allows you and only you to communicate with Make. So that is what goes over here in the token spot on the screen, in this token here. So I'm going to, on my phone, copy this section and I'm going to go over to my computer and I'm going to paste that right here and I'm gonna click save. And now it has connected. I'm gonna click save and we have a connection here. All right, let's click save. Now when I go back to my phone, I want to find that channel that I created. So I'm gonna get out of Botfather and I'm going to search for make demo one, two, three, bot. And here it is. I'm gonna click on that. And now I am in the channel that we created, the make demo one, two, three. We can tap the start button to start using the bot. And now if we go back into make, let's get this automation to listen for the telegram communication. I'm going to click run once so that this make automation is listening for the data that is coming in from telegram. I'm simply going to type a message in telegram. I'm typing hello, I will click enter. And sure enough, here it is. If we click and open up the message, you can see that the text here is hello. Now, when we want to send a message back, essentially to close the loop, what we are doing here is we're going to add another module we're gonna to go to the Telegram bot and we're gonna to go to send a message 
or reply. Now, I have two connections here because I made a second one. You will likely only have one, but you want to make sure that you've selected the correct connection. The chat ID, this actually comes from this first module. So again, if I run just this module once and then send a message to it, you'll see that if you open up the message and the from, here is an ID. You simply copy that ID and you go to the Telegram bot and you place that ID here. Now it knows where to respond when it is sending a message back. And let's go with this text and let's say, yo, what's up? And let's go save. And if I go and run this module only, you will see that back on the phone, here we are, and you can see it says, yo, what's up? And I did a couple of the tests there and you can see that. But that is pretty much it. You are now ready to go with Telegram and make.com. I will be doing a whole video on how you can use this using voice dictation into Telegram so that you can then trigger a whole bunch of automations in make using what you have said. This is a huge time saver. So if you want to see those types of things, make sure you comment below. If you like this, if you found it helpful, hit like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.